What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do better stabilization inside of Final Cut Pro. So let's not waste any time and jump right in. So here we have our example clip. I had to film some jewelry this Thursday for a big jewelry company. And as you can see, it is a little bit shaky because I did not film it on a gimbal because I wanted to have better control over the macro function and pull the zoom. So I filmed it handheld on the Sony FX6, but that resulted in some shaky footage. So of course I had to stabilize it in post. That's where we just click on it here in Final Cut Pro, click on stabilization, let it analyze the dominant motion. And then once it's done, we have a result like this, which looks like it was filmed on a gimbal because it is pretty smooth, but that does not work all the time. And I showed you in the past how you can fix that by just dialing down the amount of stabilization you apply to it. As you can see in our next example, this was a ring I had to film on the same event. When you play it back, you can see it's pretty shaky. Damn, that's really shaky. So I had to apply stabilization and Final Cut applied the automatic stabilization where you have the translation, rotation and scale each set to 1.5. So when you play it back, it is a little bit smoother, but you have this weird jiggle motion blur thing happening that you can see right here. So not that good. Again, in the past, in this video, I showed you how to do better stabilization by just dialing down the settings, like for example, to 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 and so on, which got a lot of you people and me better results by just dialing down these settings. But that does not work all the time. It works most of the time, but not every single time. For example, this time it didn't work. So that's why I just switched the method of the stabilization from automatic to inertia cam. We also have the smooth cam, which works sometimes, but I found the, I hope I pronounce it right, inertia cam to work best for shots like this. So when we go to inertia cam, again, I hope I pronounce it right, click on it and then play it back. We can see we have a way better result than using the automatic settings dialed back. I have another example right here. This was at the same event location. Don't ask me, not my style choice. But when we play it back, I already have stabilization applied to it. You can see we have this weird wiggle thing in this clip. So I also switched it from automatic to inertia cam and now when we play it back again we can see it's just smooth like butter. One last example I have right here is this clip where I came up from behind the bench to film the plates and the whole table stuff that they decorated like this. As you can see I filmed it on a gimbal it is pretty smooth but we have some wiggles in the footage. Maybe someone should adjust this gimbal. So of course as always I applied stabilization and when you play it from here it works great we have smooth footage of the plate of everything but if we play it from the beginning as you can remember I came up from behind the bench you can see we have this thing happening. Now because of the object in the foreground the stabilization just messes everything up and we have this weird where it just drags the bench along to stabilize it and then suddenly realizes it's gone so it doesn't work for this one as well. So again we switch it from automatic to inertia cam and when we play it back you can see the bench in the foreground isn't a problem anymore and we have this smooth transition and then clip of the plate on the table and everything works out just fine. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos fun cut tutorials just like this right here on the channel and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.